This video is brought to you by 3, bringing you 4G at no extra cost. Hey guys, welcome to BTEC Basil here with an iPhone 6 and an iPhone 6 Plus, figuring out whether optical image stabilization makes a difference. The iPhone 6 Plus obviously has it, the 6 doesn't. We're going to do a number of things and you can see we've got a long garden so we're going to start off with a walking test. We've got both of these attached to a ruler so they should be getting the same amount of handshake. Now we can walk across and we can strafe and we can do it relatively slowly with minimal bounce. We can go a little bit slower. So if we were trying to pan across smoothly this is the kind of walking we'd be doing. And then finally we can actually create some shake by moving our hands up and down, left and right, and just shaking generally. Cool, so hopefully now that gives you an idea as to how the image stabilization aspect of these work, digital versus optical. We can test out exposure now and you can see it's a pretty bright sky, but you've got a fair few clouds, so we've got some really, really nice coloration there. And we assume some high contrasting darks in the foliage. So back to the light and to the dark. We're going to do this very very gradually now so you can gauge exactly how much foliage it'll take to change the overall exposure and if what's going on on the screen was anything to go by that was super super smooth. Now we can test out the macro we can pull in up close to this tree for example and it's tap to focus on macro so we've actually got the same kind of object in the bottom left hand corner of the iPhone 6 plus top corner uh, left hand corner of the iPhone 6 so we can actually pull in even closer on it and see if we can get some really nice depth on that picture there you go and it's going to lock focus so we can actually pull out completely and it will retain that focus until we retap the screen but we don't want to do that we want to maybe a moving object now so the leaf in the foreground right here it's readjusting exposure based on the exposure point that we're tapping what's also really nice about the new ios 8 camera ui we can tap again to refocus is that you can drag your finger up and that is actually going to increase exposure and you can see we've ramped both up to 100%. If we tap somewhere else on the display that will then reset the exposure. So a really nice improvement of iOS 8 there. If we were to employ some digital zoom that's also going to give us an insight into how the image stabilization works. So we'll pinch in to zoom all the way on both of these devices and holding them we can see if what's on the screen is anything to go by, the image stabilization is very comparable across both. We're going to retap to focus and pull back. So that's pretty much our camera comparison done. You'll be able to download all of these full video samples in the description below. We're also going to be posting one with the Xperia Z3 um, compared to both phones, so stay tuned for that coming up. Thanks for watching BTECT.